May I ask you a question, Master? You may speak. I've been wanting to breach this topic for some time now as I'm slightly confused. How is it I'm able to see you in the mirror? Whatever do you mean? Oh, it's nothing serious, really. Only just that some of the ancient texts just happen to mention that vampires cast no reflection. Seriously? What is it about achieving immortality and drinking the blood of man that makes one believe that vampires can bend the laws of specular reflection? Convenient. You could say that. Have you ever caught it that close before? No, I have never been that close to sunlight before. Mac, this is not good. Uh, well, you know, who knew running over so many dead bodies would decrease your gas mileage so much? You know, I could have sworn I had an eighth of a tank left. Maybe we shouldn't have stopped at our last house. Everyone had a souvenir but me. Well, we're stuck here now. We should check for light leaks. Oh, uh, yeah, we can all, uh, can all three stay here during the day? Uh, you know, could be worse, right? Well, that looks comfy. There is no way. It's just for the night. You assured me from the beginning that you guys don't sleep in these anymore. Well, we haven't in ages. Yeah, thanks to modern advancements and blinds, plantation shutters, hotel drapes. But this is the only way to monitor your progress in a place like this. When in Rome. Or in obsessively authentic creeps catacombs. Yeah, I can't believe he had these things built under his living quarters. This has got to be a violation of proper zoning laws. Why would you still need these? Antonio Banderas' sleepover? Well, at least being down here, you know, there's no chance of sunlight cracks, so we're good. So wh why don't you just shackle me to the wall? No dice. You go zombie on us, you might drop a limb, and then what good would being handcuffed do you? Henry will be right outside if you need anything. Well, how do I sleep in this thing? I mean, I, I can't lie in the fetal position. Well, uh, from what I remember, lying face back is always the best. Yeah, I mean, lying in your belly, you get a massive crank in your neck in the morning. Fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That sounds like the beginning of a zombie ground. No, no, no. It's just my gag reflex. I told you that I had claustrophobia. Please take a deep breath, Henry. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. Now, how do I. No, how do I sleep in this thing? With like arms down or like across the chest? Whatever makes you the most comfortable, Henry. It's a coffin. Not a water slide. <laughs> but, um, is this airtight? Yeah, it, it's almost always airtight. Well, with the lack of oxygen, it, like, give me brain damage? Henry, you're a vampire. You don't need air. Psychosomatic tendencies may make you pass out from the potential lack of oxygen, but it won't kill you. But what if the virus has decreased my ability to heal? That'll make it easier for us when we have to kill you. Luke! No kidding. Henry, just think of it as a meditation chamber. Or a rigid sleeping bag. Henry, we're gonna be right here the entire time. Fine. There you go. Good luck. When do you guys think that permanent zombie moan will kick in? I can hear you. Thank you.